Adequate notice has been given to all members of the governing body, the observer, and the Westfield leader, the two newspapers designated to receive such notice. The notice is also posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board. Please rise for an invocation from Councilman Mirabelli, followed by the salute to the flag. Uh, dear Lord, uh, please bless the, uh, bless the victims of the hurricane, our servicemen, all of our volunteers that help make Mountainside such a great community, our police, fire, and, and rescue, and have the uh, safe school year for our children. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Martha, please take a roll. Aye. Here. Councilman Messler is absent. Councilman Marabelli. Here. Councilman Mortimer. Here. Councilman Turner. Here. Councilman Wass. Here. Okay, first we have a resolution of commendation. Um, before I read it, I, I'd like to read just a note from Mayor Vigliani, who was unable to attend today. Uh, this is directed to Debbie and Gary. I was truly looking forward to be, being a part of this tremendous honor being awarded to both of you this evening. I would like to extend along with your family and friends an additional thank you and well done from the entire Mountainside community. It is families such as yours that has made Mountainside the great community she has become. For the work that I know you have done, and I'm sure there are many other unsung good deeds, you both are an inspiration to not only the residents of Mountainside, but our, to our entire state and nation. And again, thank you, and we all wish you more success for the future, Bob. Um, again, I know he wanted to be here for this, and he, he he's, uh, feels bad that he couldn't be here. Uh, resolution accommodation. Whereas every year the New Jersey Parents Foundation seeks to acknowledge the deep devotion and commitment of parents working together, contributing to the welfare of their children and the strength of our communities. And whereas the NJPF was so touched by the essay submitted by Gary and Deborah White's children, they nominated the Whites for national recognition. recognition. And whereas the borough of Mountainside takes pride in its family-oriented community and proudly recognizes exemplary parents whose investment and sacrifices provide a bright and promising future for their children, and whereas it is important to strengthen our families by supporting programs that promote healthy marriages and responsible parenting. And whereas Gar Gary and Deborah White represent the perfect role model, parents, who instill values and morals that help prepare children to be dependable adults and good citizens, now therefore be it resolved that the mayor and council of the borough of Mountainside hereby honors Gary and Deborah White for being chosen in the state of New Jersey as the Parents of the Year 2008. who speaks in my family. Well, I'd like to thank the mayor and council um, for this acknowledgement, and i also like to thank my, uh, my three sons. Um, and you know, we've all, there's so many of us in this room who, um, who have children, and we all know um, how difficult it is to raise children. It gets more and more difficult throughout the years. Uh, but when you live in a community like Mountainside, and uh, where it has so many opportunities, and you and you um, and you just toe the line. It's a it's a great thing, and you know we knock on wood that they'll continue the path that they're on. And uh, we'd just like to thank you again. Did I take enough time? Yeah, you got two more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wanted equal time that Feldman got, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't resist. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Um, 
we have more, right? Two more presentations. I didn't want to. I didn't want to presume, but I figured with all the dignitaries here yes. that we may have. It, Mr. Uh, or Assemblyman Bramnick and uh, Assemblyman Munoz and, and Senator Kane, we see you're all here. Thank you, Mr. President. Gary and Deborah, I, I will uh, start off these proceedings. Uh, we come here tonight with a joint legislative resolution passed unanimously by the full state senate, the full general assembly, acknowledging and commending what you have done as parents of the year to so improve the lives of your children, your neighbors, and your fellow citizens of the great state of New Jersey. Indeed, this has many whereases and wherefores, and therefore be it resolves. Um, in short, it says New Jersey is a far, far better place because of your great efforts throughout the community. And I came to know the whites through their efforts to help other people's children, their efforts to combat the rare genetic disorder known as FOP, where you cared so much about the well-being of children Im Im impacted by this disease that he continues to lead fundraisers on, on their behalf, continues to be Work, continues to work with the, the PBA, continues to work with uh, ensuring that our port and commerce grows. Um, this is extra an extraordinarily well-rounded Renaissance family. And on behalf of the State Senate, I want to say congratulations. But most of all, thank you. And if I turn it over to Eric Munoz, the uh, Senior Assemblyman, and John Bramnick, the, uh, the somewhat Senior Assemblyman. I want to say that we're both both sort of senior. Uh, but then again, I want to say this is what really makes this town a great town. I mean, what you've done, what you've done for your family, so and what your family's done it really is our honor, our honor for myself, Tom, and John to represent you. So, congratulations. To the whites, uh, before I present uh, a resolution from the Congress of the United States, let me say this: I'm not normally envious when I come to these events, but Parents of the Year, that's one that I really strive to. And I think all of us out there in the communities feel as if being parents of the year, I'm not sure there's a greater honor. So my hat's off to both of you for winning such a prestigious award, an award that's more important today than it's ever been in the history of this society. Congressman Ferguson was unable to be here this evening, but he has sent a letter, and may I read it to Gary and Deborah White. Dear Mr. and Mrs. White, I am writing to offer my congratulations for being selected to 2008 New Jersey State Parents of the Year. This is an honor that is well deserved. Our community is stronger because of your dedication and commitment to each other and to your children. I am grateful for your spirit and commitment towards not only developing your children, but also towards making our community better through your volunteer work. It is my hope you and your family have many healthy years ahead of you. Thank you for your contributions to not only your families and your community, but society as well. Sincerely, Mike Ferguson, member of Congress. Please come up and accept this award and our award from the State uh, Assembly of the Senate. That's right. <laughs> He had two minutes left over from the last speech. He wants to be using his now. time. I want to know how many volunteer days we're going to have next year for the volunteers. Certainly okay. one. But not really. All kidding aside, um, Jeffrey, Christopher, and Eric, my three sons, my wife, many friends that are in the audience today, um, and of course um, our elected officials. You know, uh, I think it was last week you guys had um, Senator Lance here for a little. Uh, roundabout and you know and I said to him in the parking lot I said uh, 
it's amazing that we were in Trenton about six years ago and the impact that politicians have on kids, like my, my son Eric was in Trenton with me and Senator Lance and Senator Kane, we were, they were voting on a bill for FOP and Senator Kane said to Mrs. Weldon, you press the green button for yes on my behalf and Senator Lance turned around to Eric and he said, you press the green button on my behalf and you know, left, it left something uh, with, the, with the children that, you know, these politicians are not all about themselves. They're all about the people that are around them and what people do for them. And it's a great thing. And, you know, but one thing I, wanna, I want to do, if I still have more time, Paul, <laughs> is to acknowledge my mom in the audience, oh, my yeah, father. Yeah, yeah. My father's home recuperating from a broken hip, and he doesn't get out much. But I have to say that... Um, I grew up in a, in a very tight family. My mother and father uh, were always there for my brother, sister, and myself. And uh, uh, I don't have any, no regrets as a child. And I, can, I think between my wife and I, we instill that, those same values that she had growing up and I had growing up to our children. And um, just want to say, Mom, thank you, and I love you, pal. <laughs> I can add my two cents, Deborah and Gary. Congratulations again for your uh, award as Parents of the Year. Just, just briefly, if I can say, since 1994. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Joe Coyne. Uh, I'm the pe uh, president of the New Jersey Parents Foundation. Thank you. Uh, since 1994, through joint resolution uh, of Congress and the president's signature, we've had National Parents Day for 13 years. We have Mother's Day. We have Father's Day. Now we also have Parents Day which is the fourth Sunday of every July. Um, actually, as part of our activities in New Jersey, each year we select, through nomination of a selection committee, outstanding parents. And I'm, I'm honored tonight to be with the Whites and their children and uh, Gary's mother. Uh, this makes it all worthwhile. One thing I find every year when we give this award out, that the parents who receive this award always tell us, look, I don't really deserve this award. They're usually humble. They're not ostentatious. They're, they're serving their community and their children as unsung heroes. We seek to actually lift them up and say to our state and our nation, these are our true heroes. And we ask our children to aspire to be parents like them. And as we know, what makes our towns great like Mountainside, I'm from Dumont and Bergen County, are our families. And the congratulations to this family for setting an example uh, to many others throughout our state of New Jersey. If I can, Deborah and Gary, one more time. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, congratulations again on this award. Maybe Mike can ask all our honored members um, <coughs> and assemblymen if you can join one more time here and we can have one picture with our plaque. Maybe again, if and the I kids. Can, uh, sure, the kids up here. President. Absolutely. Uh, maybe, Deborah and Gary, why don't you hold this? Children and. and uh, please. Yeah. Perfect. No, Gary, you don't have any time left. <laughs> okay. Next, we have a proclamation uh, for the Westfield Area Y 85th anniversary. I'll just take a moment to read through it. I think it's a great organization. Uh, whereas the year 2008 marks the 85th anniversary of the Westfield Area Y, or an organization serving the communities of Cranford, Garwood, Mountainside, and Westfield since 1923, and whereas the Westfield Area Y is a nonprofit human services organization dedicated to developing the full potential of every individual and family in the communities it serves through programs that build health, spirit, mind, and body for all, and whereas the Westfield Area I, Westfield Area Y enriches our community and the lives of more than 11,411 members with programs that build self-esteem and sharpen skills while developing character, 
And whereas the Westfield Area Y serves people of all ages, incomes, and abilities through a wide variety of programs and services designed to meet changing community needs, whereas the Westfield Area Y provides parents with high quality affordable child care, provides teens with a safe place to grow in mind, spirit, and body, provides families with fun, affordable places to enjoy quality time together, provides adults who have specific health risks with, with specialized programs, provides a home for the Westfield Area Y Devilfish Swim Team and the Aqueduct Synchronized Swim Team, and provides a wide variety of sports leagues and programs which promote personal growth, health, and well-being. And whereas the 85th anniversary of the Westfield Area Y commemorates the celebrated history of the organization and benefits to people of the community, and whereas the Westfield Area Y is dedicated to helping residents of Westfield and the residents of Cranford, Cranford, Garwood, and Mountainside to live longer by providing programs in the areas of preschool and after school care, youth and teen development, family strengthening, day camp, sports, aquatics, adult and senior health and wellness, and world service. Now, there, now therefore, be it resolved by the governing body, the borough of Mountainside recognizes the Westfield Area Y in its celebration of the 85th anniversary by proclaiming this month of September 9, 2008 as YMCA month and in acknowledging with great pride the positive impact of the organization on the community. Uh, they're having a celebration this Sunday and I will be presenting uh, this proclamation to the Westville area Y. Um, I'm also happen to be on the board of trustees there so it could be one of the, but it is a great organization. Um, okay, now uh, we have several, uh, uh, well, by the way, if, if the whites and family and friends want to leave, I'll, I'll stop now. I should have stopped before the whistle. And you're welcome to leave. We'll give you a couple of minutes to leave. Or you're welcome to stay and listen to the rest of the <laughs> exciting evening. Thank you. Okay. Thank you Bye now. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Okay, uh, you've all received uh, minutes from the regular meeting, August 19, 2008. I'll entertain a motion to accept or uh, amend said minutes. So moved. Second. Please poll the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. Okay, you, you've all received the minutes of the work session meeting for September 2nd, 2008. Entertain a motion to accept the minutes. Still moved. Second. Please poll the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. You've received the executive session meeting, minute, excuse me, executive session meeting minutes uh, from January through to August of 2008. I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes. So moved. Second. Please poll the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Okay, first we have resolution 117-2008. Uh, Councilman Mortimer? Thank you. This resolution will authorize the borough to enter into agreement with the County of Union for the purpose of the annual leaf disposal program as recommended by Public Works Manager Ronald Romack. Second. Councilman, Please pull the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next is resolution 118-2008. It's a resolution proclaiming this Friday, September 19, 2008, as POW MIA Remembrance Day throughout the borough of Mountainside. I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve that resolution. So moved. Second. Second. Please poll the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. 
Uh, next, we have uh, Resolution 119-2008, Councilman Turner. Resolution 119-2008, having received two bids for contract 2008-5, entitled Pothole Repairs, the borough engineer recommends the contract be awarded to the lowest bidder, that being Denmark Construction, Inc. from Kenilworth, New Jersey, in the amount of $16.90 per square foot, uh, that amount not to exceed $25,000, and I make that uh, motion. Second. We call the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 120-2008, <coughs> Councilman Marabelli. Yeah, this resolution will authorize the Chief of the Mountainside Fire Department to purchase 10 SCBA safety breathing air packs through the New Jersey State Contract Purchasing Program under Contract A-70163 for $4,753.75 for each unit, so the total amount of the uh, purchase is $47,537.50. This is from uh, New Jersey Fire Equipment Company in Greenbrook, New Jersey, and we're utilizing the 2008 FEMA Fire Grant Program uh, to purchase this equipment. So moved. Second. Please call the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. A resolution 121-2008, Councilman Wass. Having received five bids for the used 2003 Crown Victoria Fire Chief's car with 87,263 miles, the borough administrator recommends the vehicle be awarded to the highest bidder, that being Liberty Motors of Jersey City, New Jersey, in the amount of $1,607.99. Second. Please pull the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next we have Resolution 122-2008, Councilman Turner. Resolution 122-2008, at the recommendation of the police committee, this resolution will authorize the hiring of Louis Giardino to fill a vacancy in the position of communications officer at a starting salary of $31,465.52 per year. Uh, this became effective September 8th, 2008, uh, and began a 90-day probationary period. And I make that motion. So Thank you. Please pull the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 123-2008, Councilman Marabelli. This is a resolution will reject all bids received under Contract 2008-6 for the television inspection of certain storm sewers due to the fact that the bids received were under the bid threshold, thereby allowing the borough to solicit additional lower quotes for the project. So moved. Second. Second. Please poll the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. All right, uh, now we have the first reading and introduction of Ordinance 1145-2008. Uh, this is an introduction, there's no public input. Uh, Councilman Mortimer? Thank you. An ordinance of the Borough of Mountainside in compliance with the Governor's Blueprint for a Drug-Free New Jersey to establish a Municipal Alliance Committee known as Mountainside Against Drugs and Alcohol. We have a motion and we have a second. Okay. Second. Martha, please poll the council. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Motions. We have a motion um, for community access and limited for an on premise draw raffle and 50 50 on premise draw raffle. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? So be it. Plan, we have bills and claims. It resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Mountainside that the following bills of the persons named and for the amounts stated below have been duly audited and found to be correct this 16th day of September 2008. The same be paid after Council's review if and when funds are available and that the Mayor, Council President, Administrator, and Treasurer are hereby authorized and directed to sign and deliver warrants for same. Total $1,398,942. We have a motion for the payment of the bills. Second. Council. 
Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Marabelli? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Any council comments? I have one. Uh, as everyone knows, uh, fall is beginning next uh, Monday. I just want to remind everybody to adopt a uh, storm catch basin uh, in front of their house or close to their house. We have continued to pave streets and, and reconfigure the, the, the storm sewers, but it's impossible for our five-man uh, Department of Public Works crew to go around and maintain all the uh, storm sewers so that they're, cl that they're clear, especially after uh, uh, heavy rains. Uh, so I just want everyone to uh, help us out by making sure that the leaves are uh, in front of their, and the storm sewers in front of their houses are cleared off. Any other council comments? I just want to wish all the uh, children of Mountainside a safe, happy, and successful new school year, 2008-2009. Uh, audience participation? Seeing no audience, I move that be closed. So moved. There's one audience. Uh, I don't think there's anything for executive session. Oh, there's, we do have some public here. <laughs> so, one public. Uh, we'll give, we'll let, I, let's wait and make sure there's uh, one no one wants to make comment. <laughs> one <up> public. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Anything Resolution, you want to switch to the uh, camera? No, thank you. <laughs> Just thank you, Gary. Love you, Gary. Yeah. Resolution to adjourn? So moved. So be it.